if you're at home, yeah, Lee, dig up. <laughs> Listen, Lee, you're not easy at all. But anyway, um, if you're at home, you need to make this sauce. It's going to be a very Jamaican hot pepper sauce recipe. And I mean, I decided I want to share it before Christmas and Thanksgiving Day. And I decided to do the video today. And I'm doing it on a live. You know what I mean? Because over the last couple of days, a lot of people have been requesting a lot of stuff from me. And I've been trying my best to make this beautiful recipe for you guys. Alright? So, to be honest, if you like this video, please share it. Please share the video. Tell someone, Lee, you need to go and share the video. Right now, share it to your family, to your friend. Um, Lee, I need you to join the membership. Please join the membership, guys. Because what happened? Coming up in a couple of weeks time, I uh, will be doing a lot of video, exclusive video for members. All right. So the members, you need to join. You need member all. If you don't join the membership, you need to join the membership because coming in a couple of weeks time, there's a lot of exclusive recipe will be going for members. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is going to make because of the blender, which I'm going to make in to make the we used to make it. Um, there's a, another process which you can also boil the sauce, but I'm not going to be doing that one today. I'm just going to simple make it this way for you. So, alright. Now guys, if you're watching the video, um, as I said, please share the video and tell someone to watch the Chef Ricardo make this an amazing pepper sauce recipe today. Alright? Um, yeah, nice one. Um, anyone watching, I'll uh, take the time out to say big up yourself. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for logging on yesterday. I was watching that healthy recipe. So, yeah. That's what we've been doing over the last couple of days. Been doing a lot of try our best to do some beautiful recipe like these. Alright? Now, you need a bell pepper. Alright? Bell pepper is very good when you're making recipe like these. Right? I'm using a red bell pepper. Alright? So, you cut a red bell pepper into half just like this and what you want to do you want to move out the seed section all right remove out the seeds and not only that the bell pepper is also an amazing to help to tow down a little bit of the jamaican at scotch body pepper so what we want to do make sure you wash your ingredients because of bacterial you need to wash your ingredients please wear gloves all right so what we're going to do now we're going to simple cut up the bell pepper, all right, into some small pieces like this, all right. Um, this won't be long. It's going to be a, a quick video for you today, guys. All right, all right. Um, yeah. So you cut up the bell pepper and put that straight inside of your blender like this. All right. Beautiful one. And this one is not now. Uh, I mean, there's another way. We should can also be many different kind of ways you can make a nice lovely hot pepper sauce and i decided to come with a, quite a few of them you know what i mean because a lot of people want to know to make certain things at home so you need a ninja blender so what i'm doing right now is cut up the bell pepper inside of my blender like this and remember wash your ingredients all right this is very important for you wash them before you do anything nice one so i'm using one bell pepper now i have two four six about roughly about eight scotch bonnet pepper jamaican scotch bonnet pepper so that's what i'm saying you need to wear gloves because you know i mean the scotch bonnet pepper you need to remove the seeds from the scotch bonnet pepper all right because we are not going to be using the seed all right but if you want you can use the seed inside of it all right we're just going to be simple using the meat part of the scotch bonnet pepper all right because a lot of people does not like to eat so much so basically we all know is the seeds what's bring the eats all right so what we're doing at the moment now is just simple remove the seeds from the bell pepper from the scotch bonnet pepper and these are some jamaican scotch bonnet pepper make sure you are wearing gloves guys it's very important for you to wear gloves because of the eat all right you might have said chef ricardo why are you just tearing these pepper okay 
Now, when you live into a foreign country, you know what happened, guys? If you far away from the market are, you know what I mean, you need to get your ingredients and freeze it. So basically, I have like ton loads of pepper in my freezer and I decide to use up some of them to make that beautiful hot pepper sauce for you today. So don't feel any way when you see I'm doing this at the moment, all right? If you can get some fresh pepper, you can get it and also use it. What you can also do is weigh a moss because of the pepper. And you know that there's a lot of heat is coming from these pepper. So, but I'll tell you the secret where a lot of people doesn't know that when you freeze the pepper and make a sauce with it is one of the best things you could ever, ever do at home. Trust me, guys. It's just fantastic and amazing. All right. So I'm going to show you how to make this on an amazing recipe today. This is going to be a Caribbean hot pepper sauce. All right. Now, if you miss this video, because this one is alive, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be coming with a record one. So you guys can watch it again on the YouTube channel. All right. So now we are so far, we have a few of the pepper inside. Nice one, look at that. Beautiful red peppers. Alright. And this is just fantastic and an amazing. So I'll make sure to remove the pepper because I know a lot of people cannot manage to eat. Because this is a very hot sauce, you know what I mean? And you don't wanna you don't wanna enjoy the food sometime. You know. I love hot pepper because to be honest, the pepper definitely guys honestly you don't even know pepper in your food makes the difference it's you just you know what i mean especially if you're a person who you know what i mean they are cool you need to have all this kind of stuff at your home pepper Nothing wrong with pepper and not only that pepper been used over the last decades two three hundred thousand years pepper been using you know what i mean from back then pepper been using so many different kind of ingredients so many different things so what I want to do is remove this plate because of the pepper. Nice one. So ah oh, man, you can feel that steam coming out of the out of it. All right, now guys, what I'm gonna do before I do anything else, so uh, let's move this one. Now you have to be careful, guys. Wait. Be careful, all right. I don't want you guys to do anything, anything silly at home and mess up yourself. So that's why you to be careful when you're making this an amazing hot pepper sauce recipe at home. So please just be careful, all right. Now, as you can see, exactly, I have all the peppers inside of this thing right here. All right. Now. This is very important. The garlic. You need garlic. Anytime you're making like a, a pepper sauce, to be honest, you have to put at least six to seven cob of garlic inside of it. Right now, I'm just getting some garlic to put inside of it. All right. Now, one. All right. And this is going to be. Four. The garlic is very important in it. Right? Some people put white on it and all these things in it, but this is just like if you're at home. You know what I mean? And you decide for say you want to do something very quickly. You know what I mean? This is just a recipe for you to do at home. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven cup of garlic right here. Nice one. All right. Um, secondly, what I want to do. 
do is just put on just a little bit of a water inside of it to free up the blender. Just a little bit of water. Well, not much water, just a tiny little bit of water. Alright, now also I'm gonna put some sugar. I'm gonna put one. Three tablespoon of sugar. Sea salt is the best salt to use, but I don't have that kind of sea salt at the moment. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon. Let's put a little bit more salt inside of it. All right. Just to make sure. Now I'll cover it. All right. And what you wanna do with this one? I'm going to make a little bit of a noise. You don't wanna simply do it. blend it too much all right so that amount of blending so far is pretty good all right so what you want to do be careful when you're hoping it up because of the fuse which is coming from the pepper may very strong so you don't want it to catch in your face on your hand so you just have to be careful so what you do take your time as i say wear gloves and a mask all right now this is exactly what we're looking at right now. See what that look nice? Yeah. Beautiful. And not only that, this one, yeah, you can also boil it down and reduce it in that way, but we're making a cold one today. So what we're gonna do is a little bit of a long process. It's three things you can do. If you're at home, you know what I mean, are you not into the rush? You want to put the clean flame over it just like this. Seal it tight, all right. So, once you seal it tight like this, yeah, you want to leave it at least for about three to four days on the work surface like this. But we're not going to be doing that today, I'm just going to show you. You leave it for roughly about four days on your work surface like this, and every day. Every morning when you wake up or in the day, you get a teaspoon or a tablespoon and a simple mix it around and make it infuse everything together and then you will see the difference because if longer is going to be like this, then you will see the difference on this nice, lovely Jamaican hot pepper sauce. You can look at the color and the whole texture of it is just an amazing, all right? So that is it right here at the moment. And to be honest, when you're doing this pepper sauce right here, you need to leave it at least three to four days, as I said, into your, over your work surface or in your cupboard. Best place to put it is in your cupboard, just like this. When you wake up in the morning, you just give it a nice, lovely mix. Or in the day, whatever time, you give it a lovely mix and you can see the difference of this. And an amazing, amazing, beautiful, fantastic, hot, pepper sauce recipe this is very good for your meat you know what i mean if you're eating a dinner you can use a little bit or whatever you're doing at home this coming really really handy for you all right so we keep going on it you know what i mean as i say what next thing what we're gonna do is take off the clean flame i'll make it show you exactly what's going on inside of it you remove the clean flame again so this would be like day one Give it a mix like this, and then day two you would come and do the same thing. What? Ah, very very hot. <coughs> wow. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna put at least. <coughs> wow. I can feel the pepper. We're gonna measure out at least. Let's see. One. Two. Three tablespoon of. Apple cider vinegar inside of it. <coughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can say that pepper is sick, man. Right. And then what you want to do, just give it a mix. The, the, the apple cider vinegar is going to preserve it. You can have this in your fridge. 
for at least one month because of the upper side of vinegar which is going to preserve it all right so what we're going to do is going to simply finish it up and make you guys see exactly as i said you need to leave it three to four days like this cover seal really tight and have it into your cover like this this beautiful and amazing hot pepper sauce and then you will see it's changing to color and diffusing and everything yeah pretty good to go all right so i'll put the ingredients in the description box oh i made this one all right now let's blend it up and make you see exactly how it look and what you can also do at home with this beautiful sauce all right so we're gonna finish blend it up so now when if seven day is finished this is the last process is blended finally <laughs> Which you also can do. You also can simple put this in a pot and reduce it right down. All right. But as I said, we're not gonna be doing that today. We just simply show you exactly what you can do and make your own pepper sauce. All right. All right. But this one is, a, as I said, a very cold one. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna simply just run through our strainer like this. All right. So guys can see. Look at that beautiful color. Fantastic. So we're just gonna run through our strainer. to just run it through, boil it down and make it reduce but you're making the very cold one at the moment so to show you exactly what you can do at home wow well, guys i'm telling you not only that you can do this at home i'm just gonna get everything out of it like this one is the best homemade sauce you could ever so that's what you want to do you know once you do that <coughs> sorry it's not corona <laughs> it's just a pepper you can put at least a tablespoon of this inside of it also all right and give it a lovely mix all right So put a little bit more of that fiber inside of it, just to give it a little bit of a body. Nice one. So what I did, I have a bottle which I have from, you know what I mean, wash out and everything. And now I'm going to pour it into this bottle. Still can put a little bit more inside of it. 
and did that. Beautiful body way of it. Not too runny, but I'm not too thick. You know, you just want it perfect. Let's put a little bit more. Uh, if you want to strain anything and redo it, it's the best thing you could ever have. Nice one. So that's what, what you're looking for. All right. So once you do that, cover it like this, seal it tight. All right. And then you leave this out overnight and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. This sauce you can make it at home, guys. Very easy and simple to make. Not complicated, to be honest. It's just amazing recipe to do at home if you have the time to make this. An amazing recipe right here. Look at that. Beautiful sauce from Chef Ricardo. All right? Thank you so much. <coughs> John, big up yourself. Shout out. All right? All right. Big up yourself. All right. This hot pepper sauce, where you can see right here, it is fantastic and an amazing. 100% you guys can make this at home. Look at that. Beautiful recipe. Hot pepper sauce from Chef Ricardo today. All right? And to be honest, we have a lot more ideas coming out and a lot more recipe will be coming from Chef Ricardo. You know what I mean? As I said, uh, we will make <coughs> the pepper is so strong. Wow, it's killing me. <coughs> <coughs> so please wear a mask <coughs> because the pepper is very very strong and please wear gloves all right so this is a beautiful hot pepper sauce i'm talking about the best you're welcome big up yourself man don't worry yourself all right you need to join the membership team john all right so this one what you need to do yeah the best way to make hot pepper sauce, guys, if you're at home and you want to make a nice, lovely, cool one, is to freeze the pepper. Alright? It's to freeze the pepper, I might tell you. <clears throat> oh, man, this, this pepper is going to kill me. But I said, if you freeze the pepper and then you use it, it's the best way you could ever have the sauce. Look at that rich, nice, colorful, and everything. All ingredients will be in the description box. So, guys, as I said, it's a very easy one, and you know what I mean? We have a lot more recipes and ideas will be coming from Chef Ricardo the team. All right? Please follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, Chef Ricardo. You need to go over there and follow Chef Ricardo. You see? Look at that. Beautiful. This is just an, an amazing sauce for you to make at home. And not only that. The one you can also reduce the boiled one. You can boil it down, but that one takes a little time. And, and I mean, I decided to say I'm just gonna show you how you can make the cold one at home. All right. So if you like the sauce, as I say, you can do this at home. Um, I want to do the other this video sauce also. Um, um, pepper, um, lemon and pepper sauce. That one is very good for chicken. All right. John, you need to join membership team. All right. Go over and join the membership team and support Chef Ricardo <laughs> and share the video. All right. Thank you so much, though. But this one, I'm going to show you how to make that beautiful lemon and pepper sauce. That one is amazing, guys. And 100%, you will love that one because that one is very also nice for chicken. Lemon and butter. Lemon and pepper and butter chicken. All right, this one is for you to just at home. I mean, you're eating out some food, and you're cooking out some food. You just put out a teaspoon of this inside of it. All right, look how rich and nice. I mean, amazing. Yeah, man, you're welcome, John. Big up yourself, one hundred percent. Yeah, man, check out the membership team, and you know what I mean, uh, support us. All right. But as I say, this sauce you can make it at home, one hundred percent. Very easy and simple. Belly pepper, eat scotch bonnet pepper. Seven cup of garlic, tablespoon of sugar, and teaspoon of salt, and make this at home. Blend it up and get that beautiful flavor. Anyway, I have to go. The pepper is killing me. You know what I mean? And I'm coughing a lot. <laughs> yeah, chef. Anyway, Katie, yeah. Whoa. Listen, everything is all right with the, with the subscriber, so don't worry, sir. Um, I still subscribe to you. You still subscribe to the channel. All right? Yeah, man. But as I say, I want you to make this at home for Thanksgiving Day or, you know what I mean, this 
Christmas, all right? Mmm, princess. Ah, the prepper is so strong. And as I say, if you guys are going to make this, you need to wear gloves and probably wear a mask or something to cover your face because infusing is going to kill you because of the strongness of the prepper, all right? But as I said, scotch body prepper. Okay, I will go on a far two scotch body prepper. Yeah, 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 you need to do that. But as I said, it's very, very strong. I use eight scotch body prepper, one bell prepper, eight clove of garlic, and um, four tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, or you can use white vinegar. All right, description box recipe. Okay, all right, let's do that then. I'll put that in the description box. All right, and also I use garlic and salt and sugar, Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, all right, so what I'm gonna do is put it in the description box right now. But to be honest, guys, the prepper is killing me. The prepper is killing me. It's not easy, prepper. All right, but anyway. Thank everyone who watching. Shout out to every one of you guys who watching. So you know what I mean. You're welcome, princess. You know what I mean. Big up yourself. This is from Chef Ricardo, and you know what I mean. As I say, we have a lot more ideas, recipe will be coming tomorrow evening. Lemon and pepper. Look for that with butter. That one is coming tomorrow evening from Chef Ricardo on a live in the evening. All right. So this one is for you to make at home in your spare time, ready for Thanksgiving Day, ready for Christmas. I make a friend them come over. You know what I mean? We know quarantine are going on, but let them come over and check out it, alright? Yeah, man. This one is going to be an amazing for someone to make at home, alright? Yummy, yummy recipe. Be up on yourself and stay tuned for Chef Ricardo. And I will see you next time in the kitchen again and again. One more time. Bye-bye.